Hello and welcome to the demonstration of my generic roguelike engine which is what I'll be going into the 7 DRL competition with. Uh, as you can see we've got a generic background and some options. Uh, we can actually uh, make the screen full sized or windowed and we can change the resolution but I'm not going to do that because it will mess up the recording. Uh, you can redefine the keys it says you can use the control pad, but you can't actually use the control pad at the moment. Uh, nor will you be able to, probably. Uh, let's go back and go into the game itself. Okay, it should clear the background there from the menu, but it doesn't at the moment. So, map generation, that occurs. Here I am, I'm a white mage. I'm surrounded by two kobolds. Probably, when I actually make the game, I should check that the uh, enemies start a sufficient distance away from the player and don't attempt to stare at him when he goes down levels. Uh, so as you can see it looks pretty shitty because we've got these lights, thin lights, they're like thin mints except they shed light on the situation in a directional fashion. Um, the trouble is the lights and the shade and the shadows and the darkness uh, make everything look like you've zoomed into a pixel, uh, zoom, zoomed into a picture, uh, and it's all blocky and horrible. So these blue bits uh, in the background here are stuff that's out of the field of view. If we move around there, it goes into the field of view. Uh, the very dark bits are where there's no light at all. In a stealth game, that might be important. Uh, there's a light giving off a light. It's a yellowy kind of urine light, piss light. There you go, piss lights all over the uh, dungeon. Um, there's pathfinding in the engine, but I'm not using it at the moment. Uh, these kobolds are just generic sprites. There will be no kobolds in this game. Oh, no kobolds in the game. How sad, Mr. Graspy. Yep, no kobolds in this game. Um, maybe I'll put kobolds in. Uh, okay, so that's it, really. You can move around. You can reveal areas of the map, and they'll get drawn on the mini-map. Oh, look, here's an interesting place. Uh, the only way we can get in here is by going diagonally. And the only reason I added diagonal movement in the engine is because I created this stupid map gen which has these sealed off rooms that you can only get into if you go diagonally. So diagonal movement was born. Uh, there we go, that's kobolds not moving. There's really no mob code in the engine at the moment at all. It's just, it just draws the kobolds there. There's no item code. It's all fine to use for 7DOL because it's totally generic. Do you hear that? It's totally generic. There we go. Um, I'm not going to go around in an OCD manner and reveal the whole screen. Uh, but there you go. It's drawing more of it in. Um, that's it. That's all it does at the moment. Uh, There's provision in the engine for sound and music, which may or may not occur in the 7DOL. Uh, I'm already quite nervous because before I've even started about whether I'm going to be able to finish it. So there you go, that's the video. Thank you for watching.